day, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. First time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. Now today, my lawnmower needs its blade sharpened. And I'm gonna be showing y'all how to properly sharpen your blades for your lawnmowers. It don't matter what kind of lawnmower you got, but right here I got a Bad Boy Elite Series. It's got three blades on it. And as you can see, I got a convenient way of lifting my lawnmower up. It's called my front end loader on my tractor. For years, I hooked my lawnmowers to a beam on my little shed and used a comb along and picked them up. But that ain't what the video is about. It's about how to properly sharpen your blades. So I'm going to get under here and I'm going to remove the blades. This lawnmower here takes a 15 16th and I have an impact where I ain't got to be doing no straining or nothing. So let's get to getting these blades removed so we can get to the sharpening process. Now guys, I don't need no bad comments about how nasty my lawnmower is up under here. It mows several yards. When you look at a lawnmower, this one's got three blades. It don't matter if I got two blades, three blades, four blades. I've never seen a lawnmower that all of the blades was not the same exact blade. So you ain't got to worry about which one came off where. Or I never have. All you got to worry about is make sure to look at your blade and usually if it's curved up like this right here that curve's gonna be facing up when you put your blade back on and trust me you can get in a hurry and put a blade on upside down because I've done it before myself so anyway I'm finna remove these three blades and then we're gonna get over to the Sharpening bench. Guys, when you remove your blades off your lawnmower, that's a good time to go on and make sure you get any strain, wire, anything, vines, anything that's wrapped around that spindle above that blade. Go on and get that stuff removed, because that will make your seals go out or cause your bearings to go out. So go on and get that anything removed while your blades is off. So now we're going over to the sharpening bench. I know it's a little dark right now because it's cloudy and it looks like it's been to come a thunderstorm. So it's kind of dark outside. But as you can look, these blades still look good. If a blade's wore out, it'll start rounding on the point here. And when it's rounding on the point, and you sharpen around that point. I've used them like that before, but the rounder that point gets, it's gonna start eventually leaving a little strip between your blades when you mow. These blades ain't bad at all. I try to sharpen my blades twice a year, and I don't like doing it until after I mow the first three or four times of the year. That way if there's any sticks and stuff from the fall in the yard, and Anything that got scattered in the yard, I don't want to have a freshly sharp blade. So now I done mowed two or three times this year, I'm going to go on and sharpen my blades. And then I do it again about mid-season. Mid-season, really to about three, about 
between mid-season and the end of the season, I do it the second time, unless I hit something that I know is dull my blades. A lot of people like using bench grinders. I prefer just a small hand grinder. But when you're sharpening the blade, you want to keep it with your original bevel there. You don't want to change your bevel steeper or lower. You want to stay with the bevel, the original bevel that was on this blade when you bought it. Another thing when you're sharpening the blade, you don't want it sharp like a pocket knife. Real fine out here on the edge, you don't want it sharpening like a knife because any little thing get touched. It's, it'll nick that blade when it's that sharp. So when you're sharpening a mower blade or a bush hog blade, it ain't gonna be sharp like a knife. You're just getting the bevel back on it and straightening that out. Also, when you sharpening your blade, you go slow. You don't put too much pressure on it because you'll start seeing it overheat this metal. And if it overheats that metal and gets it discolored, that'll soften your metal. And then when you mow, it won't take much to nick that blade in that spot. So I'll put my blade in this vise. I usually do one side of my blade. Sometimes I have to flip it over. This here looks like I'm gonna be able to get it from both angles. I always make sure to put safety glasses on. So a piece of this will fly off or a piece of that wheel will fly off and get you right in your eye. My dad got his eye put out when he was about 15 years old, and trust me, I got preached to all my life about protecting these eyes. So when you're like me, you put your safety glasses on, then you put your glasses where you can see on and over. y'all heard me I kept turning the grinder on and off and I also didn't keep a lot of pressure on there I was kind of like so to speak hitting my brakes taking the pressure off that way it wouldn't get this blade hot and just color it and make it soft or brittle and I don't know if y'all can tell that's what the blade looks like now sometimes I turn it over and on the back, you don't want to put no kind of bevel, but if it's got any kind of little nicks on it, you can just run down through there flat real quick, knock them little nicks off. But you don't want that blade sharp like no knife. See, I'm running my hand up and down it. It ain't cutting me. If you get it to where you do that and it cuts you, the first good sprigs of grass it hits or a little bitty bitty stick, it's going to nick your blade when you get them where they that sharp. That's the main thing I'm trying to get across in this video is you don't sharpen your blade so sharp like a knife. You want it where you run your hand down it. I run it down my wrist to show y'all. I'm being careful though. Make dang sure it don't cut me, but you see if that was a knife blade, it'd be cutting my tender skin on my wrist. So I'm gonna turn it over. Let's see what it and when you hit them on the back, take them just them little rough out, you stay flat. You don't want no kind of bevel on the back. And 
And that's how you sharpen a lawnmower blade. Now I'm finna sharpen these other two and we'll go over there and put them back on. <laughs> Guys, if you'll keep your lawnmower blade sharp, depending on how much you mow, how often you need to sharpen yours. Most of the time, mine's just twice a year, but I check them regularly. If you keep a, a good sharp blade on your lawnmower, that lawnmower is gonna cut easier. It's gonna be easier on your engine, plus your yard will look a smoother cut. But it saves a lot on the life of that engine just keeping your blade sharp on your lawnmower. Another little tip guys, if you're sharpening your blade and you realize you got down there and you got it too sharp, and it feels like getting like a knife blade, just take your blade and rub it on your grinding wheel. It's kind of like rubbing it on the rock. Don't turn you, don't turn your grinder on to do this. Just rub it up and down a few times like that right there. And that'll take that sharp edge right on the end of your blade. That'll take that back off. All right, so now we out here. It's a little more light, you can see. But when your blade starts getting wore out, it's going to be starting around on the end. Or when you're looking down through here, it'll be dipping in and out. Most time they dip straight across from where this little cutout's in the back side. Usually they'll start dipping. You can kind of see this in here starting to get lower from there out. Right in here. When that starts dipping too bad or that corner starts rounding off, that's when you know you need a new blade instead of just sharpening it. Like I said, you keep your blade sharp. It'll extend the life of your engine because your engine ain't having to work as hard. Your belts ain't having to pull as hard. And when you go back onto your lawnmower, if your blades has got this little flip up, that goes up. You put it on upside down like that, you're going to have a, a strip in your yard where this little wing sticking down, cutting to the dirt. I've done that before. Another tip, guys, this blade here just has a round hole in it. But some of them will be oblong or little star shapes. If it's one of them star shaped ones or that line oblong, you make dang sure when you get it up on there, you hold it up on there in the right spot when you tighten in your nut or your bolt. If you get that star on there and it ain't setting up in that star position just right, you tighten that bolt, then when you go to mow and it's going to spin, and it ain't going to be in that star pattern and you finna run your shaft and you're going to have to replace your pulley shaft on your mower. But the round ones like this, you just put them up there and the bolt tightens up. I really like the round ones better. guys that's all of this to changing the blades on your lawnmower and or sharpening the blades on your lawnmower guys another tip why you changing your blades or sharpening your blades is a good time to clean out from under your deck y'all seen all that 
crap on mine a while ago. So I cleaned it out every time I sharpened the blades, but for years, every time I mowed, I washed out from under my deck. And my decks on my lawnmowers always outlasted my motors. My wife started mowing the yard. Well, I knew she wasn't gonna get the water hose and get her in there and wash up from under the deck every time, so now this one just gets clean whenever I'm changing the blades or doing any kind of maintenance. And I'll show you here in a little bit the pile of stuff I'm finna dig out from under here. Guys, this is the pile of just big old clumps of just grass caved up under there. And that's, that's what rots your deck out quick. But you can see how big of a pile come out from under that joke. Another good tip is when you got your lawnmower raised up like that, no matter how you raise it up, when you let it back down, Go do something else for a little while, let your oil settle back down, your gas all settle back down before you fire it up. Don't just let that lawnmower down and fire that engine up. And try not to get it too steep because you'll dump that oil into your carburetor and then you're going to have trouble showing up before you get her fired back up. So I've done this one enough. I know how steep I can go with it, but if you, you stand one up on the end like that, you're going to dump your oil out. Well, guys, I hope this little video was helpful. I hope it helps someone out who's wanting to sharpen their own blades. Maybe you never have. You just go buy some of them tips there I just give you. You can sharpen your own blades, save yourself a little money. But thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Like and subscribe, all that good fun YouTube stuff. Help me grow my little YouTube channel here. Thanks for watching. God bless, and y'all have a great day.